All right. Well, thank you for listening to episode number three of Catch 2022, which is my time at the recovery center and the things that I've learned while I've been at the recovery center and uh, the things that I share as well. I like to say, it's funny, I just started with saying the things that I've learned because I learn so much about myself when I'm in my groups and I... After about an hour and a half of, of, of being with my groups, I, I reflect on that time, right? And, and, and see, looking back, what, what could have been better, what could have changed, what flowed, why things flowed. And, you know, one of the things that settles me is when I come in and I instantly don't start with me being the teacher, me professing to know anything, but to be able to come in as one of them or them being one of me, which we all become just people in a room exploring in a way that's like we're all going into a museum that we've never been to and we start looking around together, right? And seeing what we see, so to speak. And that that sets the tone. And, and, and I thought it would be really cool to tell you guys a, a, a story that I, I don't know where I heard it, but I heard it somewhere and I really liked it. And, and it was a great way to start the, the, the recovery uh, center time that I had for that hour yesterday. Or Monday, I should say, actually. Is it, was it Monday? Yeah. This guy fell into a deep hole. Okay, he fell into a hole, literally dropped into a hole, six feet deep or eight feet deep, and he couldn't crawl himself out, right? And he's screaming out, saying, help, somebody help me, I'm stuck in this hole. And this guy walks walks, and looks down the hole, and the guy happens to be a doctor. And the guy says, doctor, doctor, can you help me? And the doctor takes out his prescription pad, writes on it, rips it, throws it in there. And the guy grabs it and goes, what the heck, this is a prescription, how is this going to get me out of the hole? And he goes, never mind. So he goes back out and says, help somebody help me and he sees a priest priest looks down and says my son i can help you and writes jots down something on a piece of paper and throws it down the guy opens it up and it's, it's a prayer the guy says what is this going to do <laughs> and so he goes all right thank you uh kind sir and off he goes and he's finally like losing his wits and he sh shouts up again he goes somebody please help me and he sees his best friend and then he goes to his best friend says i'm stuck down here can you help me get me out and his best friend jumps in with him and now the guy says oh my goodness why would you possibly do this and his best friend says i've been here before and i know the way out See, that's one of the coolest things about sharing the principles is that it's an equal opportunity. It's an equal opportunity um, spirituality. It's an equal opportunity um, lessons for us all. There's not one single person that doesn't use the gifts of mind and consciousness and thought to have an experience. It doesn't matter whether you're a good person, whether you're a bad person, whether you've been on drugs for 10 years or whether you've never taken drugs in your life, it's an equal opportunity understanding. And that's what makes it cool. And the coolest part about this is that I've been there before. Now, I've not been to the exact place they've been to in their minds, but they're using the same essence. They're using the same spirit. They're, they're using the same material to have that experience. Now, that experience is going to be different than mine. But it's the same cloth. It's cut from the same cloth. And when I when I talk from that space, when I set the table from that space, it it softens me up. It allows me to go. I don't have to know everything when I'm in this group. I can stumble because they stumble. I can fall and pick myself up because they've fallen and they've picked picked themselves up. I can start again and say, you know what? I've made a mistake because I know they've made mistakes. And that realness connects with people. Because again, now it starts it as I'm one of them and they're one of me. And now together we can fall together. 
we can start with wherever we are and be lost together. And we can be confused together and we can get out of the hole together. Because I've been in this hole before and others have gotten me out. They've been in a hole and someone else has gotten them out. I've been by myself and spirit and, and, and wisdom has gotten me out of it. And that's up for grabs for everybody. That's what makes this understanding different than a lot of things. Because it's not about, you know, you're in a hole. So here, let me let me give you 10 ways to get out of a hole. Not that that may or may not work, but what's sparking this gift to even come up with 10 ideas? That's what we're talking about. See, most people talk about once it's up on the wall, the form, you know, here are 10 things. But where did the, the, the idea to even have 10 things come about? That's what the principles are pointing to, that, 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 that well of knowledge that you can keep going into and filling up your bucket with. You know, people are looking at the 10 buckets they filled and said, look at all the buckets. And you can have amazing stuff with these buckets. You can water plants. You can f f have animals drink out of it. I think it's brilliant. But if you look back and go, there's more in the well. Let's go here. Let's go find some more in the well. That's magical. Right, that's magical. So when you're when you're sharing the principles, don't be overly concerned about being able to share the principles. Start with meeting yourself. You know, one of the biggest things I hear uh, people say is, "You got to meet your client where they're at." It's actually not true. That's a fundamental mistake in coaching: is meeting them where they're at, right? Because if they're out of their mind. You don't want to meet them when, like, oh, they're out of their mind. I don't do that because when I have 10 people in my recovery uh, center, I can't meet every single person where they're at. But I can meet myself where I'm at. If I meet myself where I'm at and I come in with this clear intention, when I come in with this space of unknowing, when I come in with a space of confusion, but a deeper okayness, when they see that in me, So when you're doing a talk or when you're doing a um, webinar, when you're doing whatever you're doing, meet yourself where you're, at, where you're at. Forget about everybody else. Forget about everything else. And when you can meet yourself, you will settle. And when you settle, people see it. And when they see it, they will settle in themselves. And then they will understand why I jumped in the hole with them. Because I've been there before, and I know the way out. Folks, thank you so much for listening. Wendy, it's so good to hear from you. Thank you so much. I love your vibe. You make great sense. Thank you so much. Uh, it's good to know that I still got it. It's, I've, I've kind of little, been a little bit rusty uh, going back at my recovery center. And, uh, you know, I, I'm fumbling a lot. You know, because I'm really trying to share the principles. And it's interesting because the minute I go forget about that and the realness comes through, people start to click again, right? But the good news is, you know, like the best way to, to get yourself immersed in this is, is go and share and share and talk about it. Kind of, kind of be comfortable. Actually, don't kind of be comfortable. Get really used to the unknown. Get really used to going into a group. You know, every time I go into a group, I look around and I go, what the F am I going to talk about today? And then things just start to flow. And it's never failed me. It's never failed me. That well of wisdom is always full. I can always go back in there and pick up more stuff to share, right? Some of the other ways of sharing is like what you what what that bucket fills and people think that's what they have it's that one bucket and um and as soon as you give that bucket to people and it starts to empty out they're like oh i got nothing else to share and you make bullshit up right when you have a well with you that's constantly overflowing with wisdom you can always tap into that and yeah like jackie just said you're oh you've always got it and you can't lose it that's right the only thing you can do is you can think that you've lost it. Here's the good news if you think that you've lost it. You can share about that in real time. 
ladies and gentlemen, I was going to come in with some grand idea about how life works. And I think I lost it for a minute. Is it okay if I gather my thoughts with you guys for a little bit? Kind of like see where I'm at. And I'm going to navigate in the dark for a little bit. Now, just that enough is powerful. Just that enough is okay. Right? What a, what a gift to go into people's space and, and be lost for a minute. Because most people, when they're lost, that in of itself is a le lesson, right? Most people, when they're lost, they're like, oh my God, what do I got to do? I got to get my bearings. I got to figure this out. That in of itself creates a lot more thinking for them. And here I am, I come in lost most of the time, confused half of the time. And I end up with an hour and a half of most, the most brilliant connection, conversations, laughter, silence, confusion that people have had. And I do it again next week. So practice coming into that space in real time. Practice going into the hole with people. And one thing will start to happen. People will start to see there's less holes that they're stuck in. And they'll look around and say, you didn't jump in a hole with me. You just realized that there was never even a hole here to begin with. That, folks, is what changes the world. Thank you so much again. And uh, I'm glad you guys, if you guys are liking these episodes, let me know. And if there's anything you want me to share on the next episodes, um, as I go to the recovery center, uh, let me know if there's anything you guys would like me to talk about. I'm uh, getting back into my group again. I'm, I'm enjoying these. I'm getting really positive feedback and I'm really appreciating it. But uh, I would love to do more, but I would love to get feedback from you guys as to what you guys, where you guys are at, what you guys would like to see, and if there's any questions or any uh, insights that, that come with these kind of conversations. Love you guys all, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.